So here we just have a fast little uh, review, so to speak, of the Silky Saw Pocket Boy 170. Very nice. Uh, I tested it a few times. It reminds a lot about the Sock. So this is just much better made. But if you uh, understand the concept of these saws that are only cutting when drawn, uh, then you are off to a very, very good saw. Uh, you should be careful not to push too hard because it's very flexible. The blade here is of uh, very high quality Japanese steel, but uh, the old Fiskar saw, or the Fiskars maybe still use uh, Japanese uh, steel blades, also the draw principle I'll show in a minute, but if you push too hard on them, then you risk of breaking the blade in here. I did that with the Fiskars, but uh, I mean, instead of just uh, cutting away like that, you can just put a pressure on when you're drawing. And then it cuts, I mean, it cuts stuff like nothing. I think that was five. And of course, I will not cut, try and cut this, but you can see what I mean. You can apply some pressure only when you draw, and it will dig into a big lock. Quite nice. <laughs> Like nothing. I like to use them like, take care you don't press the lever here, but I like to use them two handed and put some pressure down when I'm drawing. In that way, it cuts much better. You can, of course, use it one handed also. But I just like to do it like this. I think this is their smallest model. I don't know. I think the 170. As you can see there, I think it stands for 117 millimeter or 170 millimeter blade. That's what I would guess, but you can see this is really a effective, cool saw. And I dig this this far down in it in just seconds, and you can see one, two, three, four, <laughs> five maybe. Very cool saw, highly recommendable, and thanks for sending this to me, <laughs> really cool, really, really cool.